Okay, a very good morning to one and all present here. We have already 52 members join in. I think we are very good enough to start. So I will give time to learn to you. You can please take your time and you can start the session. Okay, good morning everyone. Thank you, Miss, for your timing. Uh, morning once again to everyone. My name is Lum Liu, an executive member of YI Club and a moderator for today's webinar, Changing Change, Small Business Startup organized by YI Club. On behalf of our YI Club, I welcome each and every one right now. Thank you so much for joining us. We can see a lot of number. Uh, it's good to see you all being with us, joining and supporting us to, uh, to have success for this program. Uh, in short, uh, I guess we shall start with our program. Yeah. For today's webinar, we have three speakers for this webinar from different fields. Uh, I hope and believe that by the end of this webinar, we will be getting a lot of inspiration and a resourceful knowledge about a business and about the strategies plans which can help us bring a change in the society as a whole. Uh, this will be the very new concept where our speakers are being invited to share the experiences and the tactics uh, within our clubs, and that is the unique essence of this webinar. Please stay tuned till the end of this uh, program. I bless. Uh, I believe that everyone will be uh, getting a come a lots of benefit from this webinar. Uh, so, I would like to introduce to our first speaker, who is none other than our very own. Mr. Ning Tao Lung Geng Wai from Tetsuo College, BBF fifth semester. He is the president of our YI Club too. He runs a printing press by the name Ning Print Home. So anyone interested to have a new look to the houses or room can kindly contact him. I guess he will be free enough to uh, give you a good suggestion on how to decorate your decorate your rooms into new look. Uh, so now next we have a very young talented lady who is also our YI Club reporter, Miss Easy Delay in Gia from Tetsu College. Currently she also pursuing her BCom first semester. She deals with cosmetic beauties. Yes, she deals with cosmetic beauties. I guess most of the girls are very much interested in this product and would like to know more about the beauty product. She's the venture of Mylinu, so you can contact her freely. Last but not the least, we also have a very young, talented, and a skillful artist from Dimapur Government College, Mr. Imkon Inchen. He deals with art words. He venture is Imkong's art. Before the speaker takes their time, I would like to make a small request and a reminder to all the participants to kindly keep the microphone mute while the speakers are taking their time in order to avoid any kind of distractions or interruption to the speaker. If the participant, uh, if a participant would like to give any kind of suggestion or ask a query about your topics a separate time will be allotted for that that is s and q session where your question your suggestion will be taken on account so without wasting much time uh now i give time to mr ning tao lung geng mai which will be followed by miss easy delay india and lastly by mr im kong im chen ning tao lung, please take your time Good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you so much, moderator Lung Tili, for the warm welcome. My name is Ning Tao Lung Gang Mai, currently pursuing my BBA course in a fifth semester from Tetsu College. I take this great opportunity to share my experience so far and a little bit about my small initiative that I've started recently. Uh, before I start, I would also love to say that since I'm still at a beginner stage, 
where for myself, I'm learning and exploring and observing and putting that into trial. I hope you will understand my explanation or the concept which I'm presenting based on where I stand, uh, the stage that is the very infant stage where my business and, and myself is. So uh, I will directly jump into the presentation. Give me a few seconds, I will start presenting my PPT. All right, uh, I hope my slides are available in the screen. So, uh, yes, I did, okay, thank you, Miss. Um, as I said, um, my name is Ning Tholen Gangmai, and I will directly jump into the small business that I've started recently. I think uh, it all started with a curiosity and a plan that, first of all, it was curiosity. I wanted to try it out and see how exactly it is the practical knowledge in a real business, even if let it be a small or big, and that is something I have a very uh, passionate about. I really want to try out and taste the experience of starting my own business. Uh, when it comes to, when one person comes to me, let it be the customer, the neighbors, my friends, I think uh, the good thing about is that when they come with a problem, and when I am able to solve the problem, I think that's the, the happiness that they get, from my service or product that I'm uh, giving them, I think that's a precious thing that for me as a starter. I think uh, to start a business, I think capital is very important in so many things that we need uh, the money to invest in. Sometimes I had a very good idea, but I didn't have the right people. Uh, sometimes I have a very good idea, but I didn't have the right capital to invest in. So it was not parallel for many months and months it went on with that. Uh, not parallel being the, not the right time or not the right budget, not the right people. That was something which I've been uh, facing on for a pretty long time. But by the grace of God, you know, I was uh, very lucky enough, you know, I usually pray that there's so many opportunities, you know, I will go and carry out the opportunity. Just show me the way. That was has been my pretty long uh, prayers. And God has very been uh, graceful to me. And my prayers were very answered at the very favorable time, I would say. Right when I needed, I got the scholarship and I got it and I turned my scholarship into investment and I invested the scholarship into buying all the required uh, equipments and a miscellaneous products that I need to run uh, my small business. Before I used to get a scholarship in the previous year, you know, in a few years back also, we used to get from time to time. I used to spend in a lot of the things that which is not very productive. It was very useful though, but it was not productive in the long run, I would say, because I used to spend on my phones, which I have already won, which is uh, not very productive, but I used to spend on my personal things and to go there. And in within a month, you know, within a month, it used to get over. And I think that was something uh, I mismanaged with the money whenever I get. And the little knowledge, the that I want to share with you is regarding the investment is that I think it's, it's the perfect time for us, especially for the students, that we need to manage how to use our money. It's not always about saving it because saving doesn't generate any kind of income. It doesn't generate any productivity or it doesn't give us in return anything. Uh, when we say investment, it's not only about giving the money to our to the people and gaining the interest, but I think it's about investing in your time investing in a small business product, services that you're providing. I think that is something worth. If you are genuinely, you know, uh, feel that this would work, and if you're passionate to your services, I think it is worth to invest in. Uh, as there is a very popular quote, saving is to keep your money in rest. But uh, investing is something which you put your money to work. Keep on uh, using the money that you have to keep the work Keep the money or your money to work. Not only put yourself in work, but keep your money in uh, work. I think that is more productive in my case. And I think this is the one of the decisions in my life that I don't regret uh, investing the capital that I got from scholarship into my small business. The impact of this initiative uh, has been very much positive. 
and I'm being appreciated by the people around me and some of the elders, which is, uh, which really motivated me was uh, some really call up and say like, if I started this business very long back, I think they, they wouldn't have to go around the shop and looking for and trouble, take the trouble. So I think uh, for my, any starters like me, this is great motivation and I'm really encouraged that the little services that I'm providing is going in the right track. That is uh, very much encouraging for my business that I'm doing. Before I started, uh, before I started my business, I needed a name. Uh, in the screen, I am showing the first services that I'm providing and the logo and some of the details that I've given. This was the first poster that I've made for my small business. And when I, when it comes to the name, Ning's Home Print, the name which I got was when I was doing a free program offered by Google in the, uh, in the digital marketing they were teaching us about the digital marketing. In one of the portions, they talk about SEO, search engine optimization. And under that, they taught us about the using the right key in the Google. For example, if you are starting your business online, if you have a website, uh, we should use the name of the business, which is easily available in the uh, website, which is not hard to find by the customers. That was the... Uh, concept, even though I'm not very good online with a uh, website and all that, but this was a concept that I used. I could have used uh, my official name and other fancy uh, names that I could have used. But if I use that toast name, people would find difficult to find my shop or my services or me. They, if I use different kind of name, because uh, my official name, Ning Tao Lung, is not known by so many people among my friends. They usually call me Ning, which is my nickname. So Ning was very uh, familiar already around me. So that was the reason that uh, I came up with the words. I want my customers to find me easily and directly take up the services which I am providing. So that was the reason that I came up with the name Ning's uh, Home Print. And here are the, some of the services which I have provided. And, and the next topic which uh, I want to talk about is understanding the problem. Here, what I uh, observe is that when I started this small business, the effect of the fear of the COVID-19 was very much a scare, still very fear was uh, at a high, at a peak. And the effects of COVID-19 has led them, the, led the customers, even me, not to go to the shop and stand in a line and do the Xerox printing, typing, or editing any kind of work. So that was the effect that I see in the uh, society for the customers. And another point is uh, closure of the businesses, and which is related to the effects of the COVID-19. And in other places, for time, for example, like I usually do the typing and my assignments usually at night, which... Uh, if there's anything to homework or assignment I want to do, that was uh, I do at night. And when I finish in, uh, at night and when, when I do want to print or any kind of work, the shop was usually not open in the very morning and I used to get late. That was a thing that I'm facing. And I think uh, the time for the customers, they want to be, they want to complete their work at the favorable time. So it was the problem for them that I saw in them. And the third point is the distance and time. Usually, you know, we are, we feel so uh, much lazy in so many situations. So this was a time that it was, uh, for them, it was a good advantage for them directly come to me, especially my neighbors. I think they, their work is pretty much reduced because they can come to me in just one, two minutes and they save the time as well as at the distance. The next point uh, I would like to share is the, I think, social media. I believe social media has played a very important role in reaching out the customers. Uh, with the help of some of my mentors, which I look up to, they posted in the Instagram page, and from there it went and on and on. It's, it's like a chain when one pages or one person advertise the poster, the services which is available, it continues on. The advertising process which I use is not any kind of uh, paid method. 
I did with a very, very basic thing that everybody used, uh, 90% of the people use you know, daily life. The advertising process uh, begins from the WhatsApp. When I create it, when I want to launch it, uh, the business, small business, I, I wanted to get suggestions from my friends. So I posted in the group in the WhatsApp and my friends suggested me well what to do, what are the things to exclude. And if they find that this should be uh, added or this should be excluded, they gave me a suggestion and also give me a suggestion to or go online and payment method so that the customers find more favorable to pay or come and take my services, which was uh, my classmate, BBA, FIPS master students. Uh, I am really thanking to them for that, for the help, with a great attitude towards them. And when one uh, WhatsApp was, my friend started spreading the, in terms of advertisement and then in the status, in the Instagram and from Instagram to Facebook, and it keeps on circulating. And I think the advertisement goes further and further if we keep on doing that. So I think if we use the advertisement in a very uh, appropriate for the business purposes, these are the small tools that we can use for our small businesses which really helped me out in advertisement. The next thing uh, I, I would like to bring the topic is here, the customer segmentation. This customer segmentation, I really got the knowledge from my teacher plus specialization paper. The, we in this marketing is my specialization paper. So the customer segmentation, which we learned was, uh, th this is just a very, very simple that I have added here so that we can understand all the audience can understand well. Demographic segmentation, you know, I targeted the students because all the related works, I think 80 to 90 percent of all the works are related to students. And it was not very hard to reach to the student because I have their context maximum of my surrounding. But what I did with the parents, I find it a little bit hard because I don't have their context number or in a WhatsApp or in an Instagram or Facebook, I have no contact with them. What I did for them was uh, I went to the neighbors where I can paste their poster because I don't have the contact numbers. Through the poster, I used this strategy that I want to let the parents also know that uh, I am providing these services. So I pasted it in the near houses so that they can come to me. And in this case, they usually contact me because the poster, I have services written there and uh, and a contact number as well. So the parents usually come to me. And uh, another point is uh, income. Majority of the people in one way or the other, it was not balanced. A not balanced in a term, someone might have laptops and someone might not have a good smartphone and someone might have a good smartphone, but they don't have a laptop. So they don't, they can't do the Photoshop and uh, passport size photo and the typing and a PowerPoint presentation. It was very tough for, the, some of the students. So I thought that I should add this and I targeted this uh, under the income. And the last point is education. As we know, everyone is not educated. In one part of the segment, you know, uh, there are people who have no idea about typing, Photoshop, editing. You know, There was no idea about it. So that I have uh, also included in my, under my segmentation, which is pretty much uh, working for me as of now in the running the business. This is the updated uh, poster which I have with more added with more services, like uh, designing PowerPoint presentations and downloading assignments. These are the little added uh, services which I have added and I think most of the activities are coming by from the Photoshop and the printing and downloading all the required materials from the internet. That was most of the services I've added and they're pretty much happy with that. And I'm really appreciating the customers and friends and as well. And now the last point which I wanna bring to the topic is that, uh, is understanding the market. When uh, at the beginning of the study, it was tough because I have no idea using the printer. You know, I think one or two months before I have been practicing on that. And there was, when I recently started, it was, there was no single customers, I would say, because there was only my mother who came to Xerox, her Aadhaar card. That was the only, uh, the first customer was my mother. And it was, but then it was uh, at the beginning, I didn't have any idea. 
about that. So what I did was I did a little bit of market survey. I went on to the different shop. I think uh, six, seven shop. I went and asked about the price strategy. What are the services they're providing? And I found out what are the services they are not providing. What are what are the services the other shops are not providing? So I found out that and I added in the updated services. And in one of the cases where I had to use the Photoshop, that was kind of a little bit tough for me. So what I did was I went to the stranger uh, shop and who was the owner? The owner was about our brother, elder brother age. So I went on directly. I didn't know who the person was, but still then I went and I asked the physician for other things that I need to improve on. And I brought my problem to him and he was pretty much helpful to me. Here, the, I think the key, uh, the key takeaway from me can be like, especially the nagas. Don't be offended when we are using the word naga, but this is the fact that we, especially the naga students, we feel shy unnecessarily too much of that. I think that can be reduced. If we are supposed to learn something, I think we will face some embarrassment in one point of the, our journey of the, these businesses. So I'm not telling you or myself to be shameless, but I think the the culture that I think this is a kind of like a disease. You know, we feel shy in what are the things that we it will be productive for me. So I think it is better that we directly go and ask, even though we feel shy or embarrassed, uh, since we are all at a beginner stage. This is the key takeaway that I want to uh, share with you. And here is a little knowledge that if that I want to share with the starters or who are planning to start a small business or a big business that. Uh, if, if what the customers are looking for and what we are providing, if these two things are same, I think the success starts accelerating. You know, what the customer are looking for and what we are providing. If this is the same thing, I think this is where the success starts accelerating. Uh, some people also gave their feedback to me, you know, why are you so greedy to be too greedy to have the money, I think, in a, in, a, in a friendly manner joking, but I have also received that kind of, uh, feedback from them. Although I took it in a positive way, I think, you know, to conclude with that, with their feedback as well, I think in my stage, it's not how, it's not about how much I am earning and it's about how much I am able to imagine and put that into trial, whether it is like, uh, I'm not earning them much also. I think that is, uh, quite enough for me, for our stage, for the students, that is the, thing that I realize when people tell me that I think you are just just uh, focus on studies and you are, why are being so great to, to catch the money. I think it's not about money. It's about how, how actively we can imagine and put that imagination into reality and go into trial and then continue and continue. And most importantly, I, as we know to, to the codes, treat your customers like a guest. I think this is a very important thing that we have to know when we are dealing with the customers, with a group of customers or a small group of customers, doesn't matter. Like, treat you always treat our customers like our guests. That's uh, from here. I, I will end my sharing for today's webinar. Thank you so much. And at the end of the session, we will be having a S and Q session. That is suggestion and query. I would love to have all your suggestions and query and. Please do give suggestions and correct us if you have anything find out that this needs to be corrected or excluded or added. If you feel, please do it, let, let us know. And yes, the next speaker will be speaking to you all. Thank you so much, everybody. Okay, um, <clears throat> a very good morning to you all. I am Izzy Dilengya of Become First Semester, uh, taking up honors in Accountancy and Finance, that's a college. And I'd like to share a few things about my venture, Malinu. So uh, let us wait for Nintalong <laughs> to present. Oh, can you give it that uh, the slideshow? Thank you very much. 
Now, uh, before I start, um, I'd like to say first, I was hesitant, okay? I was hesitant to be part of this program as the speaker because uh, Malino, it is not one of the few, but one of the many. And I was discouraged then. But now thinking about it, um, I think I am uh, happy that I did not decline the offer thanks to someone who <laughs> is like, Jobordas Wiki Kurle Dilena. So thank you so much for the opportunity and my venture, Malinu. Malinu is my networking line dealing with beauty and wellness product by Oriflame. So uh, you can ask me like, so why are you naming us Malinu and not Oriflame? Um, it can be uh, solved. My, uh, Oriflame just want us to be the boss of our own. Next slide, please. Yeah, according to this uh, Oriflame policy, we are not the workers of Oriflame, but we are just brand partners. We are on our own, doing our own business. They are just our provider of service and products. And so I am the CEO of my own. Next slide. So I decide what I want to do. Okay, I decide what I want to do. I decide how much I want to retain. I decide how much I want to invest. I decide how much I want to earn as well. Now, um, since I'm talking about Oriflame and they are the provider of my service and product, I'd like to say a few things about Oriflame. As seen here, when I talk about Oriflame, you can all imagine a girl or a lady or a homemaker, you know, with a catalog uh, going somewhere else and buying, uh, selling, selling their own products. But let us be known that it is founded by two brothers of Afjodnik, that is Jonas and Robert. Uh, this can be an inspiration story to all of us, like our webinar name, Chasing Change uh, Small Business Starters. They also started from a small office in uh, this central Stockholm to a global beauty company now. And the company is present over 60 markets. And when I say markets, it is not um, one Hong Kong market to supermarket, no, no, it's uh, countries. Here market implies country. So one, India, two, Sweden, three, Hungary, four, Greece, something like that. So they are over 60 markets. Uh, next slide, please. The best thing about uh, this RFLAME is that we work from home. It is flexible. Like, though you are just 8 a.m. or 9 p.m. at night, you know, you can work uh, anytime you wish and any anyhow you want to earn. And the best thing about RFLAME is it's not a just you know, providing us with services, but they are eco-friendly. They are deeply committed to sustainability and they empower children. Uh, like the um, logo that I've given, Dipalaya, they are in association with Dipalaya in India and have um, provided a sponsored education to 7,000 girls. And not just that, they have also built a three-story buildings, school buildings in um a very backward district in Haryana. Um, so that's it, that's Oriflame. And it also gives us uh, traveling experiences. If not because, uh, if there is no COVID-19, then I would be in Kolkata or also in Kochi, two places, and I'll be, you know, enjoying the luxuries given by Oriflame. But because of this lockdown, I'm stuck here in the room working. So next slide, please. Coming back to my own business, I started Mylinu right after my HSSLC exam, uh, that is um, March 2, that very night. I did not waste any time. I just registered myself that very night after my exam, just with the patient, you know, determined to earn and to grow. Uh, my own motive was to earn and to pay my own educational fees. Now let us uh, I'll let you know later on whether I was successful in doing that or not. Uh, coming back, like uh, my PPT said, the beginning was tough. Uh, although I'm still beginning, my beginning, beginning, like <laughs> the moment I started. The moment I started was really tough. It is like tough for everyone, right? 
So I stopped for two months. In Oriflame, if you stop uh, working or doing anything for three months, then you are automatically disqualified. So I stopped for two months. The reason was capital. Uh, no capital to this COVID-19. It was the very first stage of lockdown and everybody was scared, everybody was at home and I was unable to you know, speak up and talk to people, you know, persuade them personally, talk to my brand partners personally and I was unable to go and roam around uh, like selling my stuff, my products. It was a tough situation. So I stopped for two months and I regained uh, my determination of earning and I started uh, the next three months and uh, the, the three months and I started again and till now I am a senior manager in Oriflame and yes I was successful in paying my own educational fees so um, the very the very first motive like I said is to uh, earn and uh, like pay my educational fees it is was because I don't want to give trouble to my family especially to my parents and sisters, you know, worry them about financially of me. So, um, yeah, I was successful and become first semester my till from my admission till my second installment, I was able to do it all completely by myself with the help of my business, my Linu. So next slide. Yes. Uh, like the PPT, um, this this quotation is very much like famous in the leader's world of ours. When the going gets tough, the tough gets going. So this can be also useful for you as well as it was for me. So maybe I am one of the tough and I wish you will be one of the tough too. Next slide. The benefits, you know, the best thing about being an, a student entrepreneur is that we grow we learn and experience. We are not too young, we are not old also. So we, we grow and we learn uh, entrepreneurial skills. We learn leadership skills. Like I said, my Mylinu is a networking line. So I have to look after my um, lines, my brand partners, and I have to like guide them. So I, it helps me increase and improve my leadership skills. Not just that, I grow. My business perspective gets wider and I see the world differently, you know? Not, not like fantasy, but you know, in, in business perspective and experience, of course. Um, my background as commerce, I everything I study is theory about business. Now, when I'm doing this as a student entrepreneur and I can, you know, the experience that I get is something new, but very similar. And that is worth giving a try. So lastly, I'd like to ask a question to you all. That is, next slide. Will you chase change? This is to all the people who is present here. That is, you know, uh, like the Oriflame, the two brothers who have started from small business to a global company now, they have uh, like changed, like they are the pioneer, like uh, we should say. And they are able to like give us uh, employment opportunities. They are giving societal help to like the children. They are like giving uh, eco-friendly products, you know, change, that is change. So I think, that this a small business starters like us, and if you want to try, then I think we are going to uh, go a long way in bringing change in our future. So that's it. That's my cue. And if you'd like to like know more about uh, my business and you have a queries, and if you'd like to join my team, um, President Nintolun, can you go back to the first slide? You can contact me uh, in the given... Yeah, thank you very much. So here is my contact number of my Linu, or if you are not comfortable with contacting, you can like um, call me, I mean, not call, but you know, email me at mylinu 2020 gmailcom or if not, you can also uh, get back to me at Instagram at mylinu. So that's it, that's my cue. Now I give time to our very multi-talented next speaker. Thank you very much. Uh, 
Uh, a very good morning to you all. First of all, I would like to thank uh, the webinar committee for giving me this opportunity. My name is Im Kong Im Chen and I belong to the AU community. Uh, I am a freelancer photographer and an artist. Currently, I am pursuing my Bachelor of Arts degree from Dima Government College and also my degree in Fine Arts from Wandering Minds Institute. Uh, Brother Nin Taolong is presenting my slides. So yes, uh, the first slides, this is my invitation card. Uh, next. Uh, next, please. Yeah, and here is my contact. And these are my artworks. So uh, next, please. These are some of my artworks. I won't be going much into detail, uh, so you can kindly check me out in Instagram. And yeah, this is my uh, photography poster. It is also posted in Instagram, so you can check it out. And next we have... Uh, next slide. Uh, yeah, these are some of my photographies. And this is my Instagram account. You can check me out whenever you are free. And feel free to ask anything regarding art or photography. So how I started my venture or what inspired me to paint or what inspired me to uh, to photograph. Actually, I was I was never interested in art or photography. I I always wanted to go for theological studies, but uh, back in 2012, my father passed away in an accident, and because of financial instability, I was uh, I was not able to go on with uh, with my theological studies. I went through a lot. It was really hard for me and there was no one with whom I can share my pain with. And at that point of time, I started to portray my feelings and my pain in picture. Not with the intention to let people understand me, but because it made me feel good. <clears throat> uh, I started to post my works in Instagram, in Facebook, in WhatsApp, and slowly uh, people started to request for commissioned work. And that's how I started my journey. I started to paint in the year 2014, and it's been six years now that I have been doing this. Uh, by 2016, my works were out in the market, uh, in different shops in Timabur, in Kohima, and also uh, they have inspired me a lot. The shop owners and everyone around me, they helped me a lot to, you know, to grow my business in the market. Uh, till now, I have. Till now, I have sold around one hundred and seventy framed paintings. And so I would say that uh, my experience in painting till now is going very good. And it's, and it's all by the grace of God. And about my photography venture, uh, I, I really wondered why it was so expensive to hire a photographer. And I did a lot of research on it. I checked on the YouTube, YouTube, Google, everywhere. I checked about expenses, the investment on photography, and you know, it. Uh, I was saddened by the fact, with the answers in my hand, I was saddened by the fact that most of the photographers are charging a little too much instead of helping one in need. Therefore, I decided to, you know, I decided to save so that I can uh, buy a camera and help people in need especially those who are really in need. I decided to help people at a, uh, by charging a very reasonable price 
and my photography journey it's been three years now and i'm very proud and i'm very thankful to say that i am able to help uh, as many people as possible with my service <clears throat> for my future plans uh, i am planning on starting my own art studio and photography studio and i believe i believe that i will be able able to do it because as the saying goes uh, where there is a will there is a way uh, so if you have any queries or anything you want to know more uh, you can kindly uh, text me up or mail me at my instagram i will be very it will be my pleasure to uh, give feedbacks on it uh, with this i would like to end my webinar and give the time to our uh, chair leader moderator okay thank you so much to all the speakers it was such a great and opportunity to have such kind of sharing and words of inspiration or their experiences on how they started to work or what they what actually boost them to start their own venture uh, i guess a lot of people also are being inspired and by the end of this webinar webinar will be having a lot and more of new ventures coming out with their own skill right so in our meets uh uh, yes, we have our VP, uh, Ma'am Kewasa. I, if uh, you would like to take time, I, you can take it before we start with the SNQ session. Ma'am, if you want to say anything regarding about this. Okay, well, um, hi everyone. Uh, thanks, Ms. Lam Tuli, for the time. Uh, I didn't really expect, you know, to be given time, but I, I, just decided to step into this uh, webinar organized by YI and um, led by Ning Daolong and his team. And I have to say that I'm so impressed, you know, with the talent that all three of the students have and the presentations that have been made. Um, it's just a clear, you know, indication of how hard work and determination allows people to succeed, you know, given the grit and the amount of consistency that no matter how young you are, anything is possible. And I think these three students have just shown to us this morning that, you know, um, nothing is impossible for those who are, you know, passionate and those who are serious about what they'd like to do with their time. I think they've, I'm so impressed that you guys have utilized both your time and been able to raise capital that you guys have mentioned, saving from your pocket money, from the scholarship, and even been, being able to pay for your fees. Um, it's so inspiring. Congratulations to all three of you. And I just uh, would like to, you know, uh, challenge all the rest of the students who are attending this webinar to take up something that you're passionate about too. It can be something, uh, you know, from my start minor and it can become something big, you know, as our college states dream, think, do. And I think these, these three students have really applied that in reality. So congratulations to three of you. I'm so proud to hear your stories. Keep sharing your stories because it's inspiring. And um, I'm just really impressed and, you know, wish you all the best in your, um, you know, in the next step. And I just hope and pray that, you know, your businesses will continue to flourish. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, ma'am, for giving us a wonderful words and inspiring words. Uh, now, uh, we can go for S and Q session. I would like to give time for S and Q session, which is suggestion and curious session, where the participant uh, wanted to ask anything or would like to know anything about the topics. We can have interaction with our speakers. Uh, it can be either to 
Microphone, you can unmute yourself and ask the sensation or curiosity. If we are not comfortable with that, then you can also leave your question in the chat box. Uh, so the time is it. If anyone wanted to know or ask anything, please take your time. Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, I would like to take some time. Uh, actually, today is our Durga Puja. Besides this, we are, because uh, our department, many students are participating in this webinar, I thought of just uh, attending this seminar, uh, this webinar, sorry. Uh, and and uh, I would like to tell you like three of our, the students who presented the uh, their own business ventures, like Nintalongs, his own uh, like uh, means uh, print homes, home print means like that. Nah? And then uh, uh, Easy Delay with uh, his, uh, her uh, Reflame Ventures, and then in uh, in Chen from Government uh, College, uh, his uh, I think painting and all that. Nah? So, uh, yeah. so wonderful works you are doing in your own way. Uh, just a suggestion I want to give you, like uh, as I'm from the department, uh, some of you are from the outside college also. I'm from the Department of Commerce and Management, that's a college, uh, in charge of commerce and management. Uh, so some suggestion I would like to give you, like uh, those who are here from business and management and from other uh, stream also, you just, I am just suggesting you to go to one book that is called Business School, written by Robert T. Kawasaki. In that book, it is written that uh, some of you are very much uh, delighted to be starting your uh, entrepreneurships or like a business venture of your own way. So in that book, that particular you that is there in that library also. In that book particularly written by Robert T. Kosicki and other book were written by him, uh, Cash Flow Quadrants. Uh, he in that book he clearly mentioned the four quadrants that people are earning throughout the world. Uh, that is E S B I E S B I. That is employee, self-employee, business, and investors. Uh, in that book, he says like uh, that is E N S. That is in the left-hand side quadrants. Uh, that says that 95% of the world populations uh, are in that quadrants. In the world, 95% of the world are in that quadrants. But overall wealth they have in the world is only 5%. This E and S quadrants. And in the right-hand side quadrants, that is uh, ESBI, B and investors, they are they comprises of five percent population of the world, not India, world, and they have the ninety-five percent wealth of the world. So that means that means we have to follow not to the mass actually. We have to follow the that five percent people in the world. Suppose if you want to be very much successful, what they are doing in what way? They are becoming successful in what way they are becoming, they are fulfilling their dreams and goals. Uh, uh, this thing we have to uh, go through that books. Okay, what they are doing actually. So first things, in order to make your income, suppose you want to, everyone want to after your graduation and want, want to have your income. So uh, maybe you can think for like passive incomes, like right? passive income, there is two types of income, there is passive income and uh, active incomes. So those people that is in the 5% quadrants, that is a, a business and investor, they are in the 5% quadrant and they are earning passive income. Say I'm just giving you one example. Like Dhirubhai uh, Ambani, uh, he's no more in this world. He saw now, uh, uh, the two son are there, uh, Anil Ambani and then Mukesh Ambani. And they're now he's, their son also taking up the business and all. So they are not visiting uh, all over India. Like uh, they are one of the top rich person in the world. So what they are doing, is they are liberalizing their times. They are multiplying their times. So only way, the only way we can become rich and successful is to liberalize our time. Suppose every one of us have 24 hours in our hands. So, but uh, that 24 hour we have to utilize. So I like to uh, say about the easy delay, the business ventures is doing. So in that ventures, he is multiplying his her times. So maybe if she is continuing, his, she is stick for five to ten years. I'm sure she will, she can fulfill all his all her dream and desires in uh, coming future. Uh, he took a, she took a very good uh, uh, business ventures, 
So uh, that company also running to 60 countries uh, is already mentioned. And she need to be patient. She need to be uh, regard to learnings of the systems and all. She need to learn about the products and all. In that way, she can expand. Not only in India, she can expand the business throughout the world. The, this ventures, business venture has a capacity to expand her business venture. Not only in India, throughout the world, she can press anywhere in suppose uh, any country, say uh, any country, she uh, suppose through our networks that can, that can go to say US also, Sweden also, any other countries. So any people doing business in Sweden, she thinks uh, here in Dimapur, she can earn the business of Sweden. So this is how the network and all is there. So and that way she can uh, have her passive income in the country. Right now she is not in the, that passive income. Then now still now she is in the uh, active income sources, but that can be converted into passive income in the coming future. So she is multiplying her times. The only way to become very uh, suppose successful, or suppose uh, if one want to become very suppose fulfill his or her dream fulfill, so she or he need to fulfill. Uh, need to expand her time, suppose at a leverage her times or her his time. So one, is, this is one option. And suppose <clears throat> paintings. Uh, one is doing paintings. Suppose he need to be passionate, like suppose a singer, dancer, painter. Suppose uh, in that way. Suppose now Michael Jackson. He is no more in this world. But uh, his uh, uh, that uh, cassette and CD is seen all over the world. And she is getting the royalty at that. CD and all that this thing is sold in generation getting the money. So that way, uh, Michael Jackson, after next year, that uh, he is passing his uh, uh, incomes to the next, next, next generations. So uh, that we need to look for a way. And so Nin Thalong, he is doing that. Uh, he need to look for a way he can franchise that. Uh, suppose one uh, paint house to next, next, next. That way. Otherwise, if one stock in his one, suppose he cannot liberalize because. Uh, if one cannot liberalize his time, that means he can expand that much bigs. So one need to be look for a way how we can liberalize our times. So uh, thanks uh, to all of you, you are doing a great jobs. Huh? In this pandemic also, I came to realize this uh, 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 these things. And in between, I just started with my wife also a business venture. Uh, uh, luckily and uh, gracefully, uh, we are doing good in that also. Uh, earning not much started just started my uh, wife started I'm just helping her so uh, sitting at home also we can just uh, 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 get incomes and then uh, we can support our we can supplement our income also suppose some way we are say, missing uh, some income that we can supplement that income from other sources also if you sit ideally we sh you need to uh, escalate our minds so we, we should uh, suppose think of from our side just sitting and ideally at home or so, and not thinking of ever is opportunity will come, job will come, and we'll do the job. And all. that way, we cannot, uh, uh, in this uh, present situation, we cannot think for in that way. Something and uh, for something, we need to look for a way. Uh, uh, so, these are some of the like, if you want, uh, suppose, uh, uh, these are the, some the suggestions uh, I want to mention. So, think for a way you can leverage your time. That way, uh, one can achieve is or hard dreams fulfills and uh, give you and that also balancing you are a student you have to balance your time also that way okay so you cannot focus uh, 90 percent time in that business venture like that you have to balance you need to know how to balance uh, uh, everything okay so you need to have your study times that the proper, properly you have to balance and then you can just extra time yeah unproductive time you can utilize for the uh, uh, this kind of business and goals so with this i'm just uh, concluding uh, so thank you. Uh, it's great to see all of you having uh, good, uh, good business ventures. Thank you. OK, thank you so much, sir, for your suggestion. I believe that it will be a great help for all the speakers. So if anyone would like to ask or anything, please feel free to ask. Uh, all the participants, please use the chat, or you can look on the chat box. Uh, anyone? Okay, um, I'll just take a moment. Okay.
Kosik Charan. Let me see the ah, yes. Kosik Charan. Yeah, you can get back to me through WhatsApp as well. I have given the phone number in my PPT. And if that is not available, I can give you another in the comment section. Yes, thank you. Okay, if there is any more, please kindly check your time. Please do not feel shy to ask anything regarding about the topic. Or even a miss. <laughs> All right. If there is none, no more than I think. I, I think we can end up our session. Before we end up our session, this webinar, I would like to thank you each and everyone for joining us uh, on this very day. Even to uh, especially to our BP mem viewers, Sat Lori. Even she gave us her suggestion or give us a warm word which inspire us uh, or even it is a great help to the speaker or even to all of us thank you so much miss uh ben Hewosa. even thank you sir amar ranjan day for your warm suggestion even i would like to thank you at your college and id team for your great support to make this webinar a grand success thank you so much for your support uh, without you guys it would be going so smoothly uh, even i would like to thank to all the person even not even from our outsider uh giving out the precious timing and Jane being here with us thanks so much we are blessed to have you all in our meet uh, i believe that we can have such webinar in the near future again and where there will be more and more new talented will be grow. Yeah? So if uh, Miss uh, would like to say anything or shall I, we went, wind up from here? Uh, Miss? Uh, let, uh, yeah, let me tell you, you can uh, yeah, end the session. Okay, okay. okay, okay. So uh, we shall wind up from here. Thank you everyone once again for joining us. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.